mushrooms make the show. There's a lot of us doing a lot of work. We've been doing it since May, forming ideas, doing research, fabric sourcing, costume sourcing, getting cast measured, before they've even started rehearsing. I've had to do research into what people wore in 1939, which was pre-war, so what were the children wearing at that point? What do adults wear at that point? And then when they go into Narnia, I've, I've got more of a flavour of, you know, there's kind of a medieval sort of feel to it as well. Mandy wanted masks for the animals. That was a challenge I didn't anticipate because I don't know how to make masks, but one of the girls in the cast Turns out she's a model maker, she makes masks and she's been trained in it and she teaches people to make masks so I can't wait for that to be finished. We're having a centaur and a unicorn with a equine body. So that's been a challenge because how on earth do you fit this thing onto the back of you? Um, but I've, got, I've, got, I've found the solution, I know how it's going to be. The costume of the show is the White Witch. Her dress looks amazing, the cape and everything, and it's going to look powerful. There's over 100 costumes and there's a cast of 55, so that's a lot of costumes. <laughs> Some costumes I only literally just walk on, walk off, but there's a lot of thought gone in that 10 seconds of stage play. <laughs> Probably a lot more than 10 seconds worth of work. <laughs>